For decades, the global fighter jet industry has been dominated by a single idea. Bigger budgets mean better jets. Stealth coatings, massive engines, complex maintenance systems, and trillion-dollar programs became the standard. Everyone believed that only superpowers could build world-class fighters. Then Sweden's Grapen quietly exposed a secret that is now shaking the entire fighter jet industry. The secret is not about raw speed or extreme stealth. It's about efficiency, adaptability, and real-world combat logic. Grapen was never designed to impress on paper. It was designed to survive war. While other nations focused on building jets that require perfect air bases, thousands of support staff, and endless funding, Sweden took a completely different path. Gripen was built for a country that expects to fight outnumbered, under constant threat, with limited resources. That mindset changed everything. Gripen can operate from short highways instead of large air bases. This means enemies cannot cripple Sweden's air force by destroying a few runways. Any road can become an airbase, refuel, rearm, and launch again in minutes. This alone exposes a massive weakness in most modern fighter doctrines. But that's only the beginning. Gripen's maintenance requirements are shockingly low. A small ground crew can turn the jet around faster than many fifth-generation fighters even finish diagnostics. In a real war, speed of recovery matters more than flashy specs. A jet that flies twice a day is more valuable than a jet that sits grounded for repairs. This is where the industry starts to feel uncomfortable, because Gripen proves that extreme complexity may actually be a liability. Modern stealth fighters rely on delicate coatings, climate-controlled hangars, and specialized maintenance chains. Gripen doesn't. It was designed to function in snow, rain, forests, and extreme cold. Arctic temperatures that ground other aircraft barely slow it down. Then comes the software secret. Gripen's open architecture avionics allow rapid upgrades. Sweden can integrate new weapons, sensors, and systems without waiting years for approval or redesign. This means Gripen evolves faster than jets that cost three times as much. In an age where software wins wars, this is a game changer. Many air forces are realizing something disturbing. They are locked into platforms that cannot adapt quickly. Gripen can seamlessly integrate weapons from multiple countries. American, European, and indigenous systems all work together. This breaks one of the biggest control mechanisms in the defense industry, dependency. Countries operating Gripen are not trapped into a single supplier forever. That revelation alone threatens the traditional fighter jet business model. And then there is cost. Gripen is dramatically cheaper to buy, cheaper to fly, and cheaper to maintain. Yet in exercises, it has repeatedly proven capable against more expensive jets. Pilots have reported scenarios where Gripen's situational awareness, data link networking, and electronic warfare allowed it to punch far above its weight. This raises a terrifying question for the industry. What if expensive doesn't mean superior anymore? Gripen's electronic warfare systems are among the most advanced in the world. Instead of relying only on stealth to avoid detection, Gripen actively attacks enemy sensors. Jamming, deception, and data warfare turn the battlefield into chaos for opponents. In modern combat, confusing the enemy can be more effective than hiding from them. This exposes another secret. Stealth is not invincibility. As radar technology improves, pure stealth advantages shrink. Electronic warfare, networking, and pilot decision-making become decisive. Grapen was built around this reality years ago. The most shocking part is how quietly all this happened. No massive marketing campaigns, no trillion-dollar headlines, just results. As more countries reevaluate their air forces, Gripen forces an uncomfortable rethink. Do nations really need ultra-expensive jets that strain budgets and limit readiness? Or do they need flexible, survivable fighters that can fight every day, anywhere? Sweden's Gripen didn't just reveal a technical secret. It revealed a strategic truth. The future of air combat may not belong to the biggest, most expensive machines, but to the smartest designs built for real war. And that truth is shaking the entire fighter jet industry. 
For years, the fighter jet industry sold the world a powerful illusion. The future of air combat belongs only to the most expensive, most complex, and most secretive machines ever built. Stealth above all, massive budgets, endless upgrades. Nations were told that without trillion-dollar programs, survival in modern air warfare was impossible. Then Sweden's Gripen exposed a secret that is now forcing the entire fighter jet industry to rethink everything. This secret isn't hidden in classified documents or locked behind stealth coatings. It's far more dangerous than that. The secret is that modern air combat is not won by the most expensive jet, but by the most usable one. Gripen was born from Sweden's reality, a small nation, limited resources, and the expectation of facing a stronger enemy. Instead of copying superpower designs, Sweden asked a brutal question. What actually keeps a fighter alive in a real war? The answer shaped Gripen into something radically different. Unlike most modern fighters that depend on massive air bases, Gripen was designed to operate from highways, short stretches of road, forest clearings, dispersed locations. In wartime, this means the enemy cannot destroy your air force by striking a few runways. Gripen can land, refuel, rearm, and take off again within minutes. This single feature quietly exposes a massive vulnerability in many advanced air forces. Because no matter how stealthy a jet is, it still needs a runway. Gripen's maintenance philosophy is equally disruptive. While other jets require large teams, specialized equipment, and long downtime, Grapen was built to be serviced by a small crew under combat conditions. The aircraft prioritizes simplicity where it matters most. In real war, availability beats perfection. A fighter that can fly multiple sorties per day changes the balance of power far more than one that looks impressive but stays grounded. Then comes the part that truly shakes the industry. Gripen's avionics and software are built on an open architecture. This means upgrades can be added quickly, without redesigning the entire aircraft. New weapons, sensors, and electronic warfare systems can be integrated faster than in many next-generation jets. In modern warfare, software evolves faster than airframes. Gripen understood this early. Many expensive fighters are locked into rigid systems controlled by long upgrade cycles and political approvals. Gripen breaks that model. Nations operating it gain flexibility and independence. This is where the defense industry starts to feel uncomfortable. Because Gripen doesn't trap countries into a single supply chain, it can integrate weapons from different nations, American missiles, European systems, domestic solutions. This reduces dependency and increases sovereignty. For decades, control over weapons integration has been power. Gripen quietly takes that power away. Cost is another shockwave. Gripen costs a fraction of what fifth-generation fighters demand, not just to buy, but to operate. Fuel consumption is lower, maintenance hours are fewer, infrastructure requirements are minimal. Yet in exercises and simulations, Gripen has repeatedly demonstrated that it can challenge far more expensive aircraft. How is that possible? The answer lies in electronic warfare and networking. Gripen doesn't rely solely on stealth to survive. It actively attacks the enemy's ability to see, communicate, and coordinate. Advanced jamming, deception techniques, and sensor fusion turn the airspace into a hostile environment for opponents. Instead of hiding, Gripen confuses. Instead of avoiding detection, it disrupts it. This exposes another uncomfortable secret. Stealth alone is not a guarantee of dominance. As radar technology improves and detection methods diversify, pure stealth advantages shrink. Electronic warfare, data links, and decision speed become the true battlefield. Gripen was built around this reality long before it became fashionable. The Jet X is part of a network, not a lone predator. Information is shared instantly. Targets are identified faster. Pilots gain superior situational awareness, even against technologically superior enemies. This transforms how air combat works. And perhaps the most shocking part is how quietly Gripen achieved all this. No global hype campaigns, no exaggerated promises, just consistent performance and smart design. 
As defense budgets tighten and geopolitical tensions rise, more countries are asking dangerous questions. Can we afford jets that fly less because they cost too much to maintain? Can we defend our airspace if our air bases are destroyed on day one? Gripen forces a brutal realization. Air power is not about prestige. It's about readiness, adaptability, and survival. Sweden's Gripen didn't just expose a flaw in fighter jet design. It exposed a flaw in how the world thinks about air combat itself. The future may not belong to the biggest, stealthiest, or most expensive fighters. It may belong to those that can fight anywhere, anytime, and keep coming back. And that truth is now shaking the entire fighter jet industry.